A salsa bar in a taco time in Dolls, Oregon is the site of the largest bioterrorist attack in U.S. history. And no, this is not a joke. In 1970 in India, a spiritual leader named Bhagwan Sri Rajnesh began a new movement. The philosophy of the Rajneshi movement was an odd mix of capitalism, meditation, and dirty and ethnic jokes. Nonetheless, he managed to accumulate a large following. By the 1980s, his movement had swelled to the tens of thousands, and Rajnesh wanted to start his utopia. So with the help of this woman, Ma Anand Sheila, they purchased 64,000 acres, a ranch in Oregon. And it was here that they began building their utopia. Some 7,000 followers moved onto this ranch property. The followers all wore red. They adhered to very strict schedules. Meanwhile, Ma Nan Sheila began calling herself queen and carrying around a 357 Magnum. The Rajneshis also began driving around town in a Jeep with a machine gun on the back of it. The plan was to overwhelm these towns by basically taking over their political systems. The Rajneshis had already taken over a nearby town called Antelope and renamed the town Rajnesh. So the huge influx of these red-clad cultists didn't sit that well with the local conservative small towners in Oregon. The Rajneshi movement needed ways to inflate their numbers and essentially keep the locals away from the voting polls. What if everyone was too sick to actually go out and vote? In September of 1984, a woman stood at the salsa bar in Taco Time holding a small bag of her own homemade salsa. She poured it across all of the condiments and this started what was the largest bioterrorist attack in US history. The group contaminated 10 different fast food restaurants with salmonella over the course of two months. It made 757 people sick. It sent uh, a couple dozen people to the hospital. Had they gone with their initial plan of using typhoid fever, it would have been a massacre. When this finally was discovered, it was found that they had set up a fully fledged bioterrorism lab on the compound. Ma Anand Sheila and her co-conspirators were given 20 years in prison, but ultimately only ended up serving two. And Rajnesh actually didn't serve a day in jail. The attack on the salsa bar at the taco time and nine other fast food restaurants remains the largest bioterrorist attack in US history. Amazingly, that taco time is still open. We suggest you skip the salsa bar. Subscribe here and watch more videos here. Uh, today there's still a plaque in the town antelope it's awesome actually it's at the post office and it's like something out of a movie like like to all those who stood against the rajneshi invasion what are some other wonders that i should know about what do you want to hear me talk about what do you want to tell me about uh what is the greatest place you've ever been i want to know all of these things